A warm welcome to Medical Skills, the provider of medical education for more than five years to such people as the Royal Society of Medicine, the Royal College of GPs and many other people worldwide. We would like to share with you now our suite of training videos that we've developed with our team of healthcare professionals and our partner, Disposable Medical Instruments. They cover most of the core competencies needed for minor surgical training for general practitioners and other healthcare professionals. We're now going to demonstrate how to incise and drain an abscess. Firstly, mark the area of maximum fluctuance with a skin marker for a cruciate incision. After infiltrating with local anaesthetic, using a field block, a cruciate incision is made with the point of the blade. Ensure the incision is large enough to provide adequate drainage. Express the pus with pressure. After the pus is exuded, blunt dissect the cavity of the abscess with any small instrument. Make sure you explore the cavity thoroughly and break down any loculations. Gently irrigate the cavity with normal saline. Try and reach the interior of the cavity until the saline runs clear. If needed, gently excise the corners of the cruciate excision as these will probably be dead and it would also facilitate drainage of the abscess further. Lightly fill the cavity with a small piece of gelo net. This will prevent cavity walls from collapsing and adhering together. Try to avoid tight packing as this can cause ischemia of the surrounding tissue and impede drainage of the purulent material. Leave a small wick protruding from the open wound to encourage further drainage of material and also to facilitate dressing removal. Redress the abscess in two days.